Some kids may have asked Santa for a new pet for Christmas, but what happens when you don't get one right away? In fact, lots of kids aren't ready for the responsibility of a new puppy or a pet. And that's the focus of a new book by local author Amber Byers. She joins me now in studio to talk about Sophie and Spot. Good to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about your first book. Tell me how Sophie and Spot came about. Yeah, so before I became an author, I was a civil litigation attorney. And while there were aspects of that job that I did enjoy, overall I knew it just really wasn't me. I've always written stories. Um, I've always dreamed of being an author since I was a kid. And I finally decided to make it happen. Um, and I Good chose a, thank you, I chose a children's chapter book to start with because I feel like this um, age, Sophie is eight in the book, yeah. is just a magical time in life. And it's, it's just a fun that's so time true. to read about. It, it really is. It's a cute book, and it goes through a lot of different um, topics that you can teach your child, w especially if you want a puppy for Christmas, and then you don't get one right away. What happens if Santa doesn't come through? Yes, that's an important part of this book is um, the book itself is about a girl, Sophie, who wants a dog more than anything. And um, sometimes even if you want something with your whole heart, it doesn't quite work out the way you want or it doesn't happen exactly when you want it to. And I think that's an important lesson mm -hmm. for kids as well as it is for all of us to realize that to be able to cultivate a sense of patience and not just fill ourselves with immediate gratification. So true. But I have to ask, does Sophie get a dog by the end of the book? So you'll have to read it to find out. <laughs> um, but what I will say is this story is a lot more than just about whether she ultimately ends up with a dog. It yeah. really follows her throughout her entire third grade year. And it follows her story at home and at school and all the ups and downs and right. her journey of waiting and you mentioned yeah. that it is a lot more about getting a dog, including her two fathers. You made yes. Sophie have two gay fathers. Why yes. did you decide to do that? Yeah, so one thing that I think is um, severely lacking in children's literature is fathers in general. Um, mothers are a predominant force, and some children's books, you know, from picture books to all the way up to chapter books, the fathers are really only seen when they're leaving to work or coming home from work. Um, there's a few exceptions, but overall, mothers are pre predominantly there. Right. And that really bothers me because my own fathers are very important to me, um, my biological dad and my stepdad, and I felt like that's not fair to leave them out of yeah. children's books when they're such an important part of raising children. Yeah, um, absolutely. And as far as making them a gay uh, family, I feel like we've had books that talk about um, alternative families and how we can accept that, but we haven't really had the next level of books mm -hmm. that goes to this is the way it is and it's just part of the story but it's not the focus of the story and so that's what I was really trying to do. I'm glad you did that too because for a child who does have two gay parents it makes them feel you, you know they'll read it and they understand it and they can relate but for children who don't have gay parents and they don't understand that it yeah. helps them hey if my friend has gay parents I understand what she's going through or what he's going through and it's everybody's just full of love and acceptance right? Yes absolutely. Would you mind reading an excerpt from this? Sure. Just a little bit? Yeah I'll just start um, since we just have a little bit, just at the beginning. Okay. Chapter one. Tomorrow is the first day of third grade, and I am so excited. I already found out that Nadine is in my class. Nadine is one of my best friends, and she lives down the street. We both have Colby as our teacher this year. We weren't in the same class last year, so I know this year is going to be great. Papa and I went back to school shopping last week, and now Daddy and I are sitting on my bedroom floor, double-checking the list of school supplies. I put one pencil with tiny dogs printed on it into my backpack just for me. The rest of the school supplies to share with the class go into another bag. I can't believe my little girl is going to third grade already, Daddy says. I smile. I know he is happy, even though I see tears sparkling at the corners of his eyes. <laughs> I think every parent can relate to that, right? <laughs> and yes. uh, you've read these, this book to kids already, like you go to a school yes. or you go to a library. What has the response been like so far? It's so fantastic. So I've read it to first and second grade classes, um, and really any elementary age class I think would, would be fun. But 
Oh my gosh, it's so fun. The it's dedicated to Aiden and Caleb who patiently waited for the dog of their own. Yes. Are those your children? Yes. Oh, how long yes. How long did you make them wait until you gave in to, to get them a dog? Uh, so they don't have a dog yet. yet. Oh, <laughs> they're patiently still waiting for yes. a dog of their own. Got yes. it, I read it wrong. <laughs> if a school or a library wants to book you for a reading and to yes. share Sophie and Spot, yes. how do they do that? Uh, so they can contact me um, and, uh, and book me for whatever event they're planning, and I'll travel and, and do that. My a phone number uh, that they can reach me at is 303-668-8812, um, or they can go to my website as well, tadpolepress.com. Okay, and I will um, give that information again in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about where we can find the book, Sophie and Spot. Do we order it online? or? Yeah, it's available on Amazon right now. Oh, yay. Yeah, and it's also available, um, you can ask any library or bookstore to order you a copy anywhere in the country. Dreams do come true. A very yes. successful <laughs> lawyer and you decide I want to become an author and you did it. Yes, absolutely. Congratulations, yay. <laughs> All right, order your copy of Sophie and Spot by local author Amber Byers on Amazon or through your local bookstore. Amber is also currently touring elementary schools and giving book readings at libraries and bookstores. To book Amber at your next event, go ahead, give her a call, 303-668-8812. That number, 303-668-8812. You can also email her at amber at tadpolepress.com for more information. And about edit, her editing, writing, and coaching services, she also offers that too. You can go to tadpolepress.com. That's tadpolepress.com.